We're excited. Prince Harry reveals future with Meghan Markle in Commonwealth. Prince Harry has been appointed a Commonwealth Youth Ambassador by the Queen as the 33-year-old lays the path for his future with Meghan Markle ahead of their royal wedding. The Prince took part in his first duties today where he attended at a youth round table and opening session of the Commonwealth Youth Forum at the The Queen Elizabeth II Conference Centre in London. Harry received a special cheer when he mentioned his bride-to-be Meghan as he delivered a speech to the youth forum. The prince also joked that he is going to try and have to keep up with the young people in his new role. He said, My hope is to convene young leaders from across the Commonwealth to discuss how best we can make Commonwealth platforms work for you and to ensure maximum impact, both here in the UK and as I travel, my job will be to listen to you. My duty will be to ensure your ideas, concerns, thoughts, and hopes are heard and my commitment will be to work with you to build better platform for your leadership and help you collaborate and form partnerships WTH or pairs across nations. In my new role, I will work to support the Queen, my father, the Prince of Wales, and my brother, William, all of whom know that young people are the answer to the challenges today, to cheers and a rapturous round of applause. He added, I am also incredibly grateful that the woman that I am about to marry, Meghan, will be joining me in this work, which she too is hugely excited to take part in. Speaking directly to members of the audience he said he would be an ambassador to a generation that inspires me every day, paying tribute to his beloved grandmother, the Queen, he said. I am particularly honored to be speaking to a room of inspiring young leaders in my first speech as the Queen's Commonwealth Youth Ambassador. When I was reflecting on how to make the biggest impact with this new role, I turned to the ultimate source of guidance on all things Commonwealth, the words of the Queen herself. On the day of her 21st birthday, the then Princess Elizabeth gave an extraordinary radio address from Cape Town, with an eye on the future, and an already unflinching sense of duty, she made a commitment. She said that whether her life be long or short, it would be dedicated to the service of the people of the Commonwealth. All of us here today can be grateful that it is a long life the Queen is still enjoying. Her Majesty's commitment has meant that the Commonwealth is a thriving family of nations, a common link between nearly two and a half billion people, and a defender of democracy, justice, and peace. Harry and Prime Minister Theresa May this morning greeted members of the Commonwealth Youth Council and Youth Task Force to hear about the issues young people want championing. The forum was an opportunity for the young people of the Commonwealth to build cross-cultural connections and networks, debate the challenges faced, and agree youth-led initiatives to influence decision-makers and ensure young people have a voice in its future. The theme of the forum is to powering our common future in a bid to highlight the potential of young people within the Commonwealth 60% of its population are under the age of 30. The move shows signs the Queen is preparing Prince Harry for life as a senior royal ahead of his wedding to American actress Meghan Markle, 36. The couple have already put working with young people at the forefront of their royal duties, visiting cities across the UK and a number of Commonwealth countries. Kensington Palace said, HRH has previously undertaken a large number of official visits to Commonwealth countries, most recently to Canada and Australia with the Invitus Games, and in 2016 to seven Caribbean countries on behalf of the Queen. In the new role, Harry will highlight and support the work and aspirations of young people across the Commonwealth's 53 member states. Harry will work to create links between young people and youth leaders of the Commonwealth and to encourage them to use Commonwealth platforms to address the social, economic and environmental challenges of their generation. The announcement comes days before the Queen and other members of the royal family will roll out the red carpet for Commonwealth leaders at the formal opening of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, SHEGM, in the ballroom at Buckingham Palace on Thursday. The Windsors will be out in force, with the Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall, the Duke of Cambridge, Harry, the Duke of York, the Princess Royal, the Countess of Wessex, the Duke of Kent, Prince and Princess Michael of Kent and Princess Alexandra attending the ceremony. Bright to be Meghan will also attend two events at the Shigm, indicating the major royal she will play in the firm when she marries Prince Harry. 
She will join him at the Commonwealth Youth Forum on Wednesday and attend a women's empowerment reception on Thursday. The pregnant Duchess of Cambridge is on maternity leave, and by the time Shigan begins could be expecting to welcome the arrival of her third child any day. It is not known whether the Duke of Edinburgh, who retired last year from official duties, will attend the event less than a week after being discharged from hospital following his hip replacement.